And now tonight, the Rangers try to make it two in a row over Tampa Bay. And it starts with Martin Perez getting more good degrees outside. And now this one lined out to center field and a diving catch made by Adolis Garcia. And now Harold Ramirez, first baseman, steps in and he takes strike one. And it, I mean, it looks different every night. Fouled away. 0 oh 2. To the 10 day injured list with a right quad strain. This one down the line and fouled off again. So that's a huge now and again, but it finally was too much after last night. And this one fouled off. 491 player games missed two IL stints for the Rays. This ball hit hard, but Garcia had a good read on it right off the bat. Breaking Turk on that leg, and then they'll have him right back. And Perez puts that one right on the corner. John Armstrong. So trying to bolster their bullpen and cash again before the ball game today was saying look last night some support in this series now. There's a swing and a miss and Diaz nine strikes. He tries to take care of Diaz and this one on the ground and through into center field for a base hit. And so the Rays have their first base runner tonight. Here. And he will take strike one. He's an aggressive player. He'll swing. And he takes in the dirt. One and one. Garcia was to him in his career. He said, we'll split this one 50-50. Fastball is in. Two and one. And they were getting together today during the pregame. They, <laughs> the last two days, they have ball players right there. It's a 2-1. This one back up the middle. Simeon on a backhand, and he'll just go to the bag himself. Four. Name for Eli White. Fitting. Scaling those walls. It's like Paredes now. His first inning. We showed you earlier, leads the American League with a 160 ERA. And how great he has been. Batting average against just 209 in the American League. Month ending today, the 1 2 pitch. And a strike three called. And he gets his first strike out of the night as Paredes goes down looking. That's a change up again for the third time. But sure enough, that backdoor cutter comes right back over. Now he gets Mejia lined up yesterday behind home plate. Went 0 for 5. That's up and out. Their catchers in the lineup today. There's a strike. One and two. Yep. For them. Yeah, it's kind of been the left handed setup lately for the Rangers facing a lefty. This one lined softly out into right field, and Mejia is aboard. Not hit real hard, but good enough for a base hit. I cut that plate in half. You might look in, you might look out. But it looked like Mejia was definitely looking away. Well, tonight's. One strike pitch. Yeah, that's tight. One on one. But you can see good numbers against Martin in his career. It's a little low, two and one. Home in Tampa Bay. And normally when you go talk to the manager, you know, you kind of ask. And then he pointed out too, he's like, I mean he must be he must be pretty old. Is this one in there for strike three called and Zanino? I mean two gone, he gets Taylor Walls now. And this one back up the middle and it hit Martine and he might be hurt. That one caught this inning two away in the ninth place hitter. Vidal Bruhan at the plate and he scoops this one out into left field but Eli White's out there and he'll take care of it. So only one more that he's on. Yep. Uh, the first pitch. Pop foul back out of play by Manuel Margot. Now when you're feeling right up there. There. <laughs> Playing up to what I was capable of and, and hadn't really achieved that to that point in the minor leagues. Well, at that point, I don't, I don't know if it's still like this in double A, but the All Star break was only two days. And so you don't have that many both days during the All Star break to make wow. sure I continued that momentum. That one a little tight. Boy, that's a hit. But it, it was in the back of my mind the whole time. Like, am I going to lose this feeling, this momentum? Um, you know, that, that has gotten up for a little bit. Um, you know, kind of in this situation, an injury, whatever it is. 
Bouncer up the middle, and Seeger gets to it, moving to it. And so that was a good sign. A fastball to Harold Ramirez is in a little. And that one is away. 2 and 0. Oh. Two and one the count in his career. With two one pitch and this one on the ground third base. Backing up for it, Josh Smith. Long throw in time. And he gets Ramirez. They had three hits. Now Yandy Diaz. And he takes strike one. So our instincts correct. That was absolutely. Takes another strike. 0 and 2. Martin just sneaking that one in there. It's tough when you're a hitter. And you... High moves in a little bit. The 0 2 pitch. This one grounded second base. Simeon throws out Diaz. A 1 2 3 third inning. And Martin Perez off to a good start tonight. Puts that right on the inside. Rosarena in a hole 0 and 2. 50 strikeouts this year for the left fielder against 11 walks. Me. <laughs> Is that bad slam again? 0 2, and this one fouled back. I did a lot. I think it's fun. 0 2, and that's a little bit low. The only thing he has to frustration in general. He swings right through strike three, and that. Tired five straight now, and he misses a little bit outside to Paredes. And Zach Paredes, a 222 average. And there's Martin. And, that, and there's nothing that you can do with that. And it comes to the inside corner this time, and this is pulled foul. Or the cutter away. Well, let's see. And he goes with the cutter. This one on the ground to Simeon, and it'll throw out Paredes. For the second out of the inning. Lee. He'll take low ball one. Above water recently, but offensively they, they've they've had some troubles. This one popped up. And easy play for Simeon makes for another one, two, three inning, an eleven pitch. Unique baseball experiences. Gene was from Fort Worth and actually grew up wanting to be a Texas Ranger. So that you've ever been around keeper of the game. That is a Great organization doing fantastic work. Yeah, thanks, Em. And that uh, has been a, a big story for the for the Tampa Bay Rays. A tough loss, obviously, for them. Get off here in the fifth inning. And Perez runs that one high. One and two the count to the Rays catcher, Mike Zanino. Then it'll be Taylor Walls and Vidal Bruhan in this fifth inning. With a couple of home runs in the bottom of the fourth. And Perry's getting a little run support again today. It's fourth time now in his last five starts that the Rangers have scored at least three runs for Martin. Lefty's 2 1. And a swing and a miss. He strikes out Zanino. Fourth. It still continued to bear in on his hands. Now, first pitch swinging, and Walls rolls this one to shortstop, and he is thrown out by his opposite number. Perez runs that one. Perez, well, sure enough, he hasn't allowed a hit since. Yeah, he has retired nine straight as he goes after Bruhan, 2 0. Team settling in, getting pretty comfy here. And this one in the air. Medium deep fly ball to right field. Easy play for Cole Calhoun. Another 1 2 3 inning. This time just nine pitches needed. It is third time through now for the Rays. Margot, Ramirez, and Diaz. And Martin just off the outside edge. That's a chance today for the Rangers. A puts him at 24 and 24. And that one is inside. 2 and 0. Game under. And had a lead in that game, but ended up losing 6 to 5. And now. That one's right down the middle. Three and one. 
has good speed and he takes strike two. It's a full kit best in baseball. So they've got him in the right spot they feel at the moment. The 3 2 pitch though is lofted out to Adolis Garcia. And so that's 11 straight retired now, but out to third. To me, that games are going well. You feel like you're playing with house money. Go ahead. Little chopper back past the mound, picked up by Seager. He'll throw on the run, and Ramirez retired. Every inning so far tonight. Fewest pitches per inning this year in baseball, with an average of. There's a swing and a miss. Dispose of Diaz here. The 0 2 pitch and a little bouncer right side of the infield. Easy play for Simeon. Another 1 2 3 on 11 pitches for Mar Mediocre, I suppose, would be a, a, a way of putting it. But since then, forget about it. Array of less than one. And the one strike pitch, this one is popped up on the infield near first base. And Huff is there to take care of it. That's 14 straight Rick strikeout guy. Doesn't throw his fastball. He will touch 95, but usually it's it's more intangibles and you know right now um, and just the eye test. Earlier this year, maybe. I mean, I, I can't say for sure. This one just misses outside. May pretty good. Two one. That's outside ball three. But he said that he's been throwing the baseball and all. And the the short of it is. Bouncer left side of the infield. Smith, nice grab and a good throw going the other way. And he gets Paredes. He will be the hitter. Anyway, Pedro, the, the short of it was, gave him a bit of advice. He said, you need to throw more quality balls. In other words, your misses need to be more competitive. You don't have to be in the zone more or out of the zone anymore. You just have to make those misses a little more competitive. They are near misses every single time. You're going to be on your toes. You're probably going to chase a little bit more and ball in that strike zone, but you're giving that umpire a good reason to be on your side. You just keep filling up that strike zone. Went off the end of the bat of Mejia, one and two. Usual for Martin. One two pitch. And that's right on the corner. Strike three called. And Mejia.